probably took about uh, oh, a day to get over here. Three flights, uh, about 20 hours, and I think our time zones are about 19 hours different. So uh, anyway, well, I think we're a little jet lagged. Flew over 24 hours or real close to 24 hours. Um, got checked in at the hotel and uh, went down and talked to uh, the uh, gentleman's where we're going to pick up the bikes. Um, signed all the paperwork with them and then we uh, took the bikes out for a, a, a little um, ride. I think a fair amount of us are a little bit brain dead um, at this point with all the uh, with all the traveling, um, particularly coming from the East Coast, you got six hours and you had uh, uh, connection times four hours and you do another 12 and a half and then you do another couple hours. So uh, Today was a very, very long day, kind of a combination of uh, two, uh, two days put together to one uh, because even though we were uh, in the midst of traveling, it all just kind of blended together. We started off, let's see, at 150 or 110 rather. The country is the size of England and England has about 60 million people and this country has about 3.8 million people. Yeah, we've been traveling for an extended period of time and I know most of us are, uh, I don't uh, think got all that good of a sleep on the, on the plane. You know, we, we took some, uh, Ambient, we got a fair amount, but I think for the most part, uh, a lot of us are uh, a little bit on a uh, on a tired side. It is now 3:20 New York time on Sunday, so it's almost completely 48 hours. I haven't had too much sleep, so but the food here is excellent, and uh, I think everything is uh, is really looking up and. Uh, We'll see how tomorrow goes, and uh, I think by that we'll have it all all worked out by uh, this time tomorrow night. And uh, I'm um, I'm looking forward to the uh, next few days. I think we're going to get up into into uh, a higher elevation. That seems like a great great place to be. So it's kind of been a dream of mine to come to New Zealand, and this seems like a great way to do it. So look forward to the rest of the trip and. Uh, Hopefully there'll be some good stories as we go along. She has some big boots. And what was it Eminem thinking? Those are not hers. Well, they are now. They are now, but they weren't. This is feeble, <laughs> worthless stuff, and I want some real pornography. <laughs> <laughs> you want some bike tail. <laughs> I want to see real. You want a club. <laughs> hey, man, what is better than club? <laughs>
catch up on those their curves and you're not too sure where it's where it's going. Yeah. Yeah, you know, so you you break a little bit but then you just start pouring to it and all of a sudden uh, it works out. But there was a couple of dicey areas where basically totally enclosed by all the uh, terrain around us. It's really uh, very cool, very cool. Why don't we just go over and eat? Just meet over there. Yeah, they'll find, they'll find us. They'll find us. <laughs> <laughs> if not, that's okay. Here are all the guys unloading. This is our first night out. In the background of our uh, hotel, we're at the Bella Vista. And uh, if you look at the background, you can see Franz Joseph. Hopefully tomorrow we'll get to go see that up close. We'll pull this back in. Tonight in the round robin, looks like uh, Bill and me uh, share this room. Yeah. View of our lovely room here. Nice pan out. That's my bed. Little phone, connecting door. Kitchenette. Little area. Let's go see the bathroom. Hey. Clean, nice and clean. That's good. Oh, a little window. A little fresh air is always good in the bathroom. Coming back around, got a little sink yet. And let's go out here and see our patio. Go down the hall here. Here's our patio. Not bad. So we're going to be doing our entertaining tonight. <laughs> got up kind of early this morning and got everything all switched over and got um, bikes loaded up and we hit the road. This has uh, been a very long day in the way of uh, uh, we traveled several, several miles, probably over 200, I would imagine. It was, it was fun. It was, uh, it was great. Uh, we had uh, a lot of switchbacks uh, coming through the mountains. They felt like you're, uh, um, uh, you're going to basically touch your rear end as you came around. They were like 20, 25 miles an hour, back and forth, back and forth, round and round. And just it was, uh, it's, uh, you got a lot of experience on uh, on that. I think I need, uh, I think I need uh, a fair amount of more experience on that. Well, we're on day one here, and uh, we're just recovering here. It's about 6 o'clock or so, Kiwi time, and it's been an awesome day. Unbelievable. Every, every corner has been just a postcard. Just You want to stop and take a picture, but by the time you take pictures, uh, you're not going to get your ride over. So it's, it's been fun. Had a good time. Uh, the greatest thing has been the culture experience, which I am glad to see. So anyway, we're in uh, beautiful Franz Joseph, and we came through some lake regions. It looks sort of like uh, the best part of Switzerland. It was just amazing. All lakes, everything else, and we're just whipping by, and then we went along the mountain range. Uh, hey! <laughs> what? This is like a secret. We're setting up the fucking camera. Hey, here we go, here we go, here we go. I like a game. For those of you who aren't here with us, um, <laughs> it is fucking ridiculous. <laughs> God, we're all supposed to do these videos in like total silence and separation of church and state, but um, I've got my friendly beaver. <laughs> All in all, this has been a real, real good day. Tomorrow, well, we got some things that we're gonna be a little different. I don't know what time we're planning on leaving as far as, as uh, riding, but uh, in the morning, we'll be um, taking uh, the helicopters out and, and uh, uh, things. So tomorrow, I'm hoping not gonna be as long as, as today as the ride is. Uh, Cause boy, my butt just can't hold up to a whole lot of that. I thought that it could, but uh. Uh, obviously, uh, Rutger and David, uh, they're more experienced uh, riders than we are, and uh, they're uh, they're consistently leading the pack. And that's uh, I think for uh, some of us that are old as dirt, that, that is uh, that's all right. That doesn't uh, doesn't break anybody's heart. And I'm also glad to see nobody but the locals like my little thing here. Can you see that? Lucky guy, you. Everybody loves it except my people, but that's all right. 
I understand. And we went through a bunch of mountain passes and just zip, 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 zip. And probably some you know, just great hairpins and the signs would say 25 or 35 kilometers an hour. And we'd just be whizzing through there. And so for part of it, or for a big chunk of the hairpin turns, I flipped on the camera, stayed on the back of Dave's wheel, and just cocked over and cocked back and kept going and did about a 45 minute run down the mountain. That was incredible. It was very um, interesting. So anyway, uh, we got through some very twisty terrain and it was very exciting. Um, and my dad kept right up with us, so it was great. Um, and Charlie started really coming. Everybody really started to feel their oats and on their bike and really started which is basically what you knew would happen, but it was nice to see that it happened a lot earlier than at least I expected, so. The um, guide is real good. Um, just can't say enough about how good that it is and the way things going. The weather has cooperated with us. We've had sunshine. Of course, it clouded up a couple of times, but uh, it was off back in the mountains, but uh, cleared right on up. But. Uh, um, things are going extremely well as far as I'm concerned and I think by the time I get through with this well, if I keep my head straight and everything I'll be a whole lot better biker and, and probably a whole lot better man. One thing that uh, we found a little bit shocking here I asked uh, hey, what's the tipping uh, uh, protocol over here and, and they got time, have told time and time and time again that there is no absolutely no uh, tip, tipping and in fact it's in some cases is almost seen as a uh, as a an insult if you go down that path, and if it if you do, typically it uh, yeah, the money will go into a into a bucket, and then everybody in the in the uh, the establishment will uh, uh, share in the uh, uh, share in the stuff. It's been fun. Uh, bikes have been awesome. Just just cruising around here, just getting used to them, no problems. Go at my own pace. I really like to go slower so I can kind of look around and uh, just kind of enjoy the scenery because otherwise I'm so focused on not wrecking Robin that uh, uh, it's, been, it's been a blast. So I'm glad I got to come and we'll see what happens here tomorrow. Charlie was uh, great today riding. He's uh, picking up his speed a little bit. Dave was uh, cutting all the corners well and he and I were keeping up with the guide. And Bill was uh, probably best of day. He was a person who uh, took all the turns well, kept up with us, kept up with a fast group, and then uh, even decided to go off-road with us. We took a little off-road for about 25 kilometers, something like that. Wasn't too bad, but uh, gave us a little flavor for some off-road riding. <laughs> what is your ruggers down ruggers down huh? medic, medic maybe maybe they can take oh, us out on maybe they can take us out on one of those helicopters <laughs> oh my god that is oh man yours was worse oh yeah sure my, my gag reflex <laughs> i'll be sleeping outside tonight <laughs> it's a it's a luxury night everyone gets to enjoy but that's fresh air. I'm gonna go sleep on the ice mountain. I mean, the the, uh, the guy just does a good job of breaking it up. You know, you, you travel for a period of time, you have a break, and and then you travel again, have another break, travel again, that type of stuff. So he does a really good job at that. But this last this last deal, man, I tell you, I think you know, almost had to get a. I don't know if everybody knows what a, a, a cherry picker is. It's a, basically a crane with a shooting boom and it has a big hook on it. I needed that just to get me off the damn, uh, damn motorcycle. I mean, it's, I, could hardly, I could hardly move. The last stop was I learned the traditional uh, Maori hello. So I'm gonna try to do this on the video and you'll get the idea, okay? First, you go up to the person and you get right in front of them and you touch noses just like this and then you give them a nod so anyway so far it's been uh, it's been uh, everything ex expected and and then some uh, i think everybody's having a good time we stopped probably about once every 100 kilometers or so got a little bite to eat it's a little confusing what we're supposed to be eating because the meals are a little stranger here or not strange they're just odd hours and so in the morning they want us to have brunch um, skip breakfast, have brunch, and then 
skip lunch and have lunch or something, I'm not really sure. So we kind of eat little bites at about four or five different places. So our, our meal schedule's all messed up, although dinner, hopefully we'll have a good dinner tonight. Last night's dinner was fantastic, so hopefully we'll get some more of that. Tomorrow should be a big day. All right, that's it for me.
I don't know about y'all, but starting again every time we stopped and then starting again was like, oh God, please. <laughs> no, no, it's going to be painful. I'll get it for you. You're determined to break that helmet. I know it. That's the third time you dropped it. my bike wherever it needs to be next. <laughs> There'll be no riding. This bike love you many, many long times. This, me love you long time. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you look good, Dad. Oh. <laughs> I'm too old for this guy, this stuff, guys. Oh, thank God we have a car to take this to dinner. <laughs> oh my God. Oh. You know, Charlie's got his iPod with him, and he's got it plugged yeah, in. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> he's just like, he can walk to the river. He's probably we... listening to Merle Haggard or something. Okay. What is the country? Uh, is this... <coughs> <coughs> oh. Hi, man. Hi. Hey. I you've come a long way today. Oh, oh, yes, sir. All the way just to see you. Well, I'm pleased you came and got here safely. Thank now, you. you're in these units down here, guys, so just you can just bring your gear down in front of there. Yeah. Okay? That's I'm showing you the uh, bugs that hit the front of the windshield there. Because he was just powering it, and it was just... As soon as we were past, he just backed right just off. You can see, it just slows right down. Because yeah, like, like, yeah. so you figured if we got past, he would have kept up with us. But no, he just backed... He was just trying to stop us getting past. He didn't want you to... No. See, he wanted to win the race. Yeah. And, uh, he could win, but those people... <laughs> 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 ...made you go, ah! ah! <laughs> what are you doing? He's trying to drink some coffee on the back. <laughs> he, was, he was taking the turn, uh, you know, not even at the posted speeds, like about 10 miles above, the, or 10 kilometers above the posted speeds, he was, he was just taking he was the turn. Like, he was going around there like it was a car, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah it was right. like a car. Full-blown coach. Yeah. I've seen a coal. He's not hitting the fire. The fire <laughs> is over here. <laughs> you know, I don't want this picture going up on the... On the refrigerator, if you know what I'm saying, at my house. <laughs> if this is me. Fire! Let me zoom in on this. Look at him. That is, there's no fire there. <laughs> fire! <laughs> no fire! <laughs> fire! <laughs> Look at, he's not even looking at it. <laughs> He's got that. He's got that. <laughs> he's got that piece of driftwood. <laughs> Do you see this? This is a picture as seeing the forest through the trees. <laughs> he's got the wood nailed, <laughs> but there's a fire over here. <laughs> Today's theme. Is it, uh, is it true to Ray Charles? And <laughs> to all the blind people out there, I like to take a video. <laughs> I'm give you. Is the camera on? <laughs> Today is shit Thursday, and it's 9:16, and it is been a pain in the ass day and when I say pain in the ass because we did uh, 500 kilometers today which you know for those of you who need that translated in the miles go look that shit up yourself because no one's telling us here uh, this was the uh, the blue buns day we uh, basically wanted to see if we could uh, uh, Adhere or mold our butt into the into the seat. I, uh, I think we've traveled about 500 uh, kilometers, which is about 300 and some miles. The beautiful New Zealand having a great time today was a much better day than yesterday. We went way high this morning and uh, um, went through a tunnel. I mean, it carved out right through the center of the mountain and. It was very dark and they're slick. Uh, big drops of rain, or big drops of water was falling, and uh, the floor had to be real slick. Went out uh, from the town we were staying in, Te Anu, and 
drove up to Milford Sound and it was uh, drizzling a little bit on the way there and then we took uh, the Milford Sound Road went up in the mountains through a, a pass through the mountains or through a, a tunnel in the mountains and then down the other side and out and took a boat ride out into the sound and took some pictures. Went to Milford Sound, which was a um, huge, huge uh, rocky uh, terrain, uh, mountains, peaks, and I imagine everyone looks up in their geography book, it'll be one of the top places to go. Um, but the memory I have, it was cold and painful to get there, and there but otherwise, uh, it was actually pretty cool. It was uh, very painful. Uh, the positives about it, it was we did not run into, into really bad weather. We had a little bit of a mist in the morning, and, uh, but uh, not anything. It was antithesis of what it was yesterday. It uh, actually had uh, sun in the afternoon. Actually got, uh, got uh, uh, warm in the, in, the, uh, in the saddle, per se. And probably the three things that were 180 degrees better than yesterday was number one <coughs> Charlie did not get hurt had no accidents and he was smiling at the end of the day so looks like he's going to be better the sun came out so it was a very pleasant afternoon but it was a very long afternoon then we drove back from Milford Sound there's one road in and one road out and so it's about 125 kilometers in 125 kilometers out Came back, had lunch back where we had started the day, and then drove onwards to uh, where we are tonight. But otherwise, uh, it was actually pretty cool. I mean, the whole scenery incident and the views were great. So anyway, it's uh, the uh, today went off without a hitch. We uh, we did travel uh, uh, a ton. Um, we uh, started early, at, I think it was around 8 o'clock, and we didn't finish until uh, 7 o'clock in the evening. Number two, it didn't rain, which makes all the difference in the world to me as far as motorcycle riding. And uh, everybody is, I mean, the boys and everybody that we meet are very, very nice um, about everything. I think everybody's ass is real sore from uh, riding around, and uh, everybody get off and stretch out and kind of get pained expressions and get back on the bikes and ride some more. So today was iron butt day. And we were basically on our bikes for about eight hours. I think um, my dad lost leg <laughs> feeling in his leg. Um, his toes are asleep permanently, I think. And uh, the rest, I have never felt such pain on my backside as I did today. So, and that, let's just repeat, that is a non-sexual pain. That is just ass hurting, like from sitting on a bike for eight hours. There, <laughs> I like to say I did not have sex. Anyway. Um, getting, getting more comfortable with the, with the bike. Um, and able to take the, uh, the turns uh, a lot better. And number three, it was definitely about 10 degrees warmer than it was yesterday toward the end of the day. So we enjoyed a long but fun ride. I think I'm enjoying uh, the bike more, getting used to it, having a good time, cruising around, checking the sights, seeing things I haven't seen, and the people are just great. Everything just seemed like it was going real well, or everything is going real well. If we get some good sunshine tomorrow, then things we should make some real good time. Uh, for me, uh, Milford Sound, was unbelievable and one of those places that you just see and think how how did this get here it had to be something more than just nature all the guys are getting along great which is a good thing motorcycles are running well and charlie's kind of doing his thing driving in the car behind us he seems to be uh keeping up with us and uh, stopping at all the stops and seeing all the sights and things tiresome day we went out to eat uh, roast beef, which was actually looked like it was um, fresh off the hoof, but uh, it was pretty good, pretty good. Uh, and one day to go from rainforest and now we're sort of in a wine region and we passed through all these vineyards in a very arid area. And so 
Tomorrow, it just promises to be another long day, and then so does the next day. He will still end up back at Christchurch. Is that him? No. <laughs> that's, that's the first car. That's the first car I've seen going that way. Oh, no. Well, Richard left his wingman. And that's like cardinal rule. I wanted to speed up and say something, but, uh, you know, I was kind of like, 
Well, so you slow down though. <laughs> <laughs> because, Richard, I mean, what are the chances Charlie knows which city we're going to? <laughs> I would hope we'd know Queenstown, but, you know, I got to worry. Queenstown? Queenstown? I mean, Queenstown. <laughs> There's no problem right there. I keep going back to Queenstown. <laughs> well, oh, we man. passed this, we passed a truck or something. No, we passed somebody. The last time we passed a car. <laughs> the last time we passed a car, <laughs> the last time I saw uh, Charlie. Well, at least we understand exactly where that is. Another story oh. for Charlie. Poor Charlie. He'll never want to get on the bike again. I've told that to that to me. He said his biking days are over. So perhaps the two of us, me and Rucker, will go back, go the other way into town. Yeah. And you two can go on that way. Yeah. And then uh we wait here for a while. Yeah. Mm. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. Leave Richard here, and if it, uh, he doesn't come here by nightfall, <laughs> Richard, you can make it into town. I can make it back, man. We were worried about you. Yeah, I could tell. No, <laughs> Dave and I doubled back. Yeah. <laughs> we went all the way back to Geraldine to try to find you. Dave and I doubled back and did 100 and 140 kilometers to try to find you. How'd you make it back? I just followed the road sign until I got up here and then I bought them out and followed it on down there. What what was like for me to sing to you? I don't I said you don't have to sing. There were me. bells on the hills. But I never heard them ringing. You don't get a mouth shut no, I ring. never <laughs> heard them at <laughs> all. <laughs> till there was you. That was the only thing that kept me alive today. <clears throat> I get up there I were birds the in the sky. <laughs> okay, it's a little crazy, but that's all right. No, I had a great time. Today is uh, ooh, Saturday. It is about 8 o'clock or so. About to go to the, to the casino and hopefully win some more money and uh, do good, have fun. It's been a great time. All in one piece. Charlie, hopefully... Not too mad at me. Sorry, Charlie. Lost him. But had a great time, and I hope uh, everybody else did too. And uh, just another great day. So I appreciate all the good times. Enjoyed myself. Hopefully I wasn't a drag on everybody or whatever. I don't know. But best thing I can say is, is that I uh, got to go to New Zealand. Got to see some new things. Got to do a lot of new things. Uh, kind of refreshed my batteries and that's what all this was about didn't get hurt had a good time uh, just life is good coming back we left real early this morning we got separated and uh, uh, they went on out of sight I came down the highway I tried to catch them for a long time got worried about them and it was a real bad wreck on the highway and I was really concerned that you know something might have happened but got up there and it was uh, a camper somebody hit a camper in the rear end and things so I came on in to uh, town and uh, couldn't find them so I just got the map out and uh, started uh, uh, stopping at a service station and asking the people where the street was. People here are so friendly that it's that you just cannot believe it. Anyway, it's turned out to be a real good trip. Uh, I, uh, I'm ready to go home tomorrow. I think we leave here about 1.30 or 2 o'clock to the airport and uh, from there we'll get on a plane and 24 hours later well, we should be sitting in Dallas, Texas. And uh, thank you for inviting me to go on the trip. It's been a very enjoyable trip. Um, sorry about all the other stuff, but it happened and everything has worked out just fine. No, uh, nobody went, around, went off the road, uh, didn't hit anything. Um, bottom line, and we, uh, the only major issue we had is that we, we lost Charlie. I uh, thank you for the whole family, me, me sp specifically, and uh, you know, good luck on your uh, in your future travels, and uh, and uh, and hopefully uh, be safe on your uh, on your any kind of motorcycle adventure you guys go on. I understand that you and David might be 
going to uh, Grand Canyon sometime in the summer based on your 40th, 40th birthday. Wish you uh, both to have a, a safe trip and have a, have a fun time, but mostly uh, uh, be safe. Okay, thanks. Take care.